regression method of forecasting using Microsoft Excel. Um, in this method, um, basically you run the regression analysis to predict um, the demand. So the period is used as a X variable and demand is used as a Y variable to um, basically um, find the forecast. So I'm gonna just type Y and X like this. Um, so you have to be in data tabs. If you are in the data tab, then you will see this data analysis tool pack. Now, if you're just using this fast time, you will not see that. So I'll show you how to bring that. So you can right click on the ribbon, customize ribbon, and then click on add-ins, go Excel add-ins, and then you have to check that box says data analysis tool pack. There is another way you can bring it, go to file and then options. Same thing, add-ins, Excel add-ins, click go, and then check that box says data analysis tool pack. If you do that, you will see this data analysis uh, tool pack there. And then select regression, select these um, values, uh, Y values, select the X values. And then my data has label, so you'll have to check that box says label, and then hit okay. So this will produce the regression analysis. Now here you have the slope and the intercept. So we have used 15 period, as you can see this data has 15 period. If we want to predict for the period 16, simply we can do the slope times the X value, which is 16 plus the intercept. So this will be the prediction for period 16. This is the exact same prediction that we have done in linear trend forecasting. In this case, it's the exact same uh, procedure. However, um, regression will provide some additional statistics where you can see how good is the prediction is. For example, these two, R square and multiple R, um, they provide the how good or how weak or strong your uh, prediction is. So in this case, the multiple R basically is the correlation between the um, demand. So the correlation between Y and predicted Y. The Y was demand, predicted Y was the forecast. Um, so the basically the correlation um, between the um, demand and the forecast. Um, as you can see here, 40% is considered a weak correlation. Uh, and then uh, R square, which is the, is the percent of variation, the percent of variation explained by the percent of variation in Y. In this case, demand or forecast. Um, variation in Y explained by the X variable. In this case, the X variable is simply the time period that we have used. So again, this is very poor. Um, um, 14 percent is considered really poor um, when it comes to predicting uh, the forecast based on the time period. Um, generally, anything over 80 percent is considered strong. Between 60 to 80, moderately good. Um, 40 to 60 is um, okay. Less than 40 is not considered uh, good prediction.